Hello, welcome to Ape Exotics, and today I'm gonna show you how to breed locusts. Today I'm gonna show you how I breed the locusts as feeder insects. I have a small basement, so I have decided to heat the whole room. The first thing I did was buy a heater with an inbuilt thermostat, so when the temperature is set and reached, it goes off and once it goes down by 2 degrees, it switches on again automatically. I set it at 35 degrees Celsius during daytime and 22 degrees Celsius during nighttime. It is very important to have low humidity. I also made custom vivarium 60 cm length, 60 cm width and 90 cm height with a very fine wire mesh for ventilation at the top. I usually put a bowl with either soil or cocoa fiber in it. It doesn't need to be huge, a bowl of around 30 cm long. 20 cm wide and 15 cm deep is more than enough. I spray a bit till it gets moist, but not too them and put it inside. By around 20 locusts, the one I bought are Locusta Magratoria and put them in the custom made vivarium. So now I'm gonna show you how to distinguish between a male and a female. First of all, the female locusts are always bigger than the male locusts. This is the female and this is the male. So, this is female. And if you notice, at the tip of the abdomen, it appears to have two pairs of short, hard, dark colored hooks. Yeah. Which she used them to dig a hole in the soil. So this is an adult male locust. And if you notice, now it does not have two pairs of short, hard, dark colored hooks at the tip of the abdomen. And usually it is more smooth and rounded and shorter than the female adult locust. The locust should start breeding naturally once you put them into the vivarium if they are fully grown. It is very important to give them daily fresh grass. There is a valley not far from me and I go cut the grass from there every single day. Then the female locust lays eggs in small egg clusters and you should be able to see that eggs have been laid because there will be holes in the soil where the locust pushed the entire rear end to lay them. Spray the breeding box every now and then to keep it moist. It takes around 2 weeks for the eggs to hatch and hatchlings are called nymphs. So the best thing to do is after a week and a half I move the breeding box to another vivarium or else wait for the very first nymphs to appear and move the breeding box straight away into another vivarium. Very important. Don't let the hatchlings in the same vivarium with the adult locusts, or else you are going to have greater mortality rate. They should reach adulthood in about a month and a half. Always give them healthy stuff, it's much like the old saying, you are what you eat. So if your locusts will eat good vitamins and minerals, your reptiles will be too. So that's it for today. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching Ape Exotics. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. See you next time.